drive through workers, what's the weirdest thing you've seen in someone's car? It's late, it's been a day, everyone else is finally passed out, the choices are alcohol or fast food. I opted for KFC because if you're going to go unhealthy, you ought to really go unhealthy. Plus, the colonel puts an addictive chemical in his chicken that makes you crave it fortnightly. So as I drive up to the drive through I see an SUV at the window and a super large dude standing leaning against the wall just behind it. Thing is, it was raining hard and dude was wearing a neon green shirt and my eyes suck when I'm at my best and I ain't even near that right now. So I actually thought he was a motorcycle or dude on a motorcycle or a human motorcycle hybrid. I place my order and drive up and realize, yep, it's just a dude standing right by the sign that actually says something about only cars being able to use the drive through Guy in the SUV grabs his bag and drives away. Big dude steps slowly from the wall, feet make crazy splashes in the puddles, and I'm reminded of the T-Rex in Jurassic Park. And I feel terrible for thinking that. Here is this poor, expansive a-hole who needed what he needed bad enough. He walked in the pouring rain while lightning rang out around him and thunder lit up the sky, only to arrive and find the way inside was already closed. So dude is talking, using his hands like an Italian on speed with the girl working the window. And I'm sure she's referring to the sign or their policy of why it's not called a walkthrough or how it's legal liability if they serve people and they get hurt or whatever other BS they told me when I was a stupid teenager. And my friends and I try to pull the on foot trick ourselves, except suddenly the dude pulls a double thumbs up and smiles ear to ear. Then he turns back and thumbs up me too. I just smile. I don't know what he was looking for exactly. I guess he was just happy. Then a few minutes later, they hand him over three large buckets of chicken. He cradles his arm across his belly, then stacks each bucket side by side, supported by his gut. Then the dude waddles off toward the fence behind the back of the place and disappears in the wooded area. I pull up and the girl tells me, Sorry sir, that guy's just ordered, air quote, all the chicken we had left, air quote. I gave it to him because it looked like he needed it. What else? I was tempted to ask her to give me all the fries they had left in a garbage bag. Instead, I just took an apple pie and decided to kill myself with alcohol was perhaps the choice I should have made in the beginning. They have apple pie at your KFC? Story 2. A bunch of nuns getting ice cream. It was cute. Worst was probably a drunk lady talking to her dog and to herself, like screaming at her dog. Went around the building a few times until the cops came. Might as well tell the story from a previous one about cops arresting people. Not a cop, but at my last job where I was a manager, I did get a buzz lady arrested when she came through my drive through twice. We used to have a second drive through lane until a hammered driver smashed it and one of my crew noticed a car was just chilling there. A few minutes later, one of my crew grabs me and says this lady is at the window and not talking to them. Headed to the drive through window to see this lady yelling at someone and I try to get her attention. She just mumbles and grabs a bottle out of one of those liquor store bags and puts it on her seat. Then she drives away before I can get her plate number. Two hours later, I'm on the phone with another manager and my crew grabs me saying the lady is back. This time, she's actually talking, mumbling about an order that didn't match anything on the screen. So I told her to park where we have people wait if they have a large order and she just nods and heads there without paying. Until then, I wasn't entirely sure if she was drunk or mentally ill, so I called the cops. And just as the cruiser pulled in, she drove out of the spot and around to the drive through again. So I pointed her car out to him and he pulled her car over at the drive through window and she stumbled out. Turns out the person I thought she was yelling at earlier was her little dog, this cute little pug. Wound up having two cop cars, a tow truck, and animal control to take care of this lady. I felt so bad for the poor little dog. One of the cops asked if we had anything for the dog and she wound up feeding him french fries. Not really healthy for the dog, the animal control guy wasn't too happy apparently, but it was super cute. Story 3 I worked for my family's fast food restaurant for 8 years. I have seen a bunch of weird stuff, mostly drunks, illegal substances, or dysfunctional families. But the weirdest thing I've ever seen was in July of last year. I had taken the guy's order and had him pulled around. I charged up and started working on his food. We get everything bagged and I go to hand out the order. 
I slide the window open. I see this guy holding massive bricks of cash, like the stuff you see in the movies all held up with rubber bands. He's got two bricks in his hand and maybe a dozen more sitting in the passenger seat. And I'm in complete disbelief, like WTH, how much money is that? The customer turns to me and then turns back to push all the cash back into a big gym bag filled with more bricks sitting on the floorboards. I didn't even say anything, just handed him the bag and let him drive off. We looked back at the cameras and you could see through his sunroof. While he was waiting, he pulled the bag from the back seat and put it into the front and just started taking out bricks of this money. I'll never see that guy again. Story 4. Worked at McDonald's during high school. Saw a dead deer wrapped up in a wool blanket in the back seat of a 90s Honda Civic. We were the first McDonald's you would arrive at coming into town, so we often had people hit us up on their way back from hunting or fishing. Definitely saw lots of people with deer, moose, hog in the back of their truck. Something about it being in the back seat of a Civic made it really creepy. Working the night shift around 2 a.m., we would get all sorts of buzzed people, hopefully not the driver, saw many people getting freaky in the car. Not a car, but had many people try walking through the drive through One old man, clearly buzzed out of his mind, tried to order food, but we said no. So he threatened to burn the building down. We sent him packing, not allowed to serve people not inside a vehicle. He came back minutes later with an empty McDonald's bag that he clearly found in the dumpster. We watched him from the window. He crawled into the dumpster and came out with the bag. He came up to the window and claimed that he paid for a Big Mac minutes ago, but we gave him an empty bag. I called BS and told him that I remember telling him to go away. I argued with him for more than 10 minutes, really just having a laugh. Eventually, the overnight manager said we need to get rid of him and just make him a Big Mac to get him out of our drive through We had a great time making his free Big Mac, making it wrong. Made it with fish fillet patties, tartar sauce, and we soaked pickle juice into the bun. We tried watching from the window to see if he would eat it, but he didn't even open the bag. He sat down on a curb and threw up all over his chest, and we had to call the police on him. Wow, you made a real-life nasty patty. Story 5 I was working the second drive through window at McDonald's. An order comes up on the screen for three large unsweet teas. One of the girls I was working with said, It's the teddy bear guy. Don't let him touch you. I was confused, but didn't think much of it until the guy came up to the window. It was an old man in a big navy blue van. He smelled like he hadn't showered in days. I greet him and hand him the teas. He reaches out his hands and I nearly gag at the sight of his long yellow fingernails. I made a special care to not touch him at all. After I handed out the third tea, I turned around to tend to another order. When the same girl said, Look now, I turned around as he drove away and I saw a giant teddy bear in his back seat. It was honestly one of the most bizarre and terrifying things to happen to me in my life. Story 6 Just a patron, but older brother and I ran some errands and decided to swing by Mickey D's drive through on the way home. Right after we place our order, we see a commotion ahead of us as some kids, early teens maybe, scuffling about in front of the car before us in line. I could only make out one of them shouting, Give me back my report card! And then these two girls start fighting while a skinny dude with them laughs and tries to break it up. During the fight, one of the girls grabbed the other's hair and some slapping occurred but nothing too dramatic. The drive through went around the corner of the building and the fight carried on in that direction. So by the time we were able to pull around the corner, they had run off somewhere. After a minute or so, this defeated looking employee walks out of McDonald's with a broom and sweeps up the random crap left on the ground from their fight. Hair clips look like a couple of pens or pencils, some food wrappers, etc. He then gets to what I thought was an article of clothing, but turned out to be a Rasta-colored wig or weave or something. With this dejected, resigned, almost mournful look, the dude looks at the wig, leaves it, and just walks away to dump the other debris in the dumpster. He was so done with that crap. I can still see the lonely, permed-looking Rasta wig lying on the faded asphalt as we gradually made our way to the pickup window. Story 7 A few that come to mind. A lizard chilling on someone's dashboard being fed veggies. A cat was also in the same car. When I worked at Dunkin' Donuts, this guy came through the drive-thru with a huge falcon in his passenger seat, working drive-thru at Starbucks. Some guy pulled through with car filled with boxes. 
He said they were filled with flashlights and offered me some. I completely forgot about it till I got off work. When I got out to my car, there were five boxes each filled with 20 brand new Duracell flashlights still in the packaging. Had to be worth at least $500. And he had many more boxes. A turquoise that took up the whole passenger seat. A woman came through with no passenger side seat. It had been pulled out and in its place hung a giant metal ring with an enormous cockatoo sitting in it. Thing was going mental when she pulled up. Back when I worked at a drive through at McDonald's, I had this guy ordering who, number one, took like five minutes to order a breakfast burrito and a drink, so I was pretty fed up already when he got to the window. When this car pulled up, I was really not expecting to see a chick in the back seat snorting something off of an iPhone. I was staring at her while I took the guy's cash and she glanced up and noticed me and ducked down a little bit. Like, babe, you're in a pretty short car. If I can see the floor from here, I can definitely see you. Guy just drove off to the next window like nothing happened. Also served a lady on a horse one time and was subsequently told they had to be in a motor vehicle to come through the drive through But that wasn't as strange since there are horses in our area. Jeez, with all the animals you've seen while working the drive through you don't even have to visit a zoo. Oh, and since you're already halfway through the video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Let's go ahead and get back to the next story. Story 8. Not a drive through worker, but I was in the passenger seat at a drive through bank and had a funny experience. Friend was depositing money. The teller sends back a receipt and a dog treat. Confused, my friend asks what the dog treat is for. The teller points and says, your dog in the back seat. At that point, my friend's younger sister, who had been leaning forward brushing her own hair, looked up at the teller. The teller was very apologetic for her confusion, and we all had a good laugh. Well, except for the sister, she wasn't too thrilled about being confused for a dog. Story 9. I worked at Stewart's Drive-In, and I saw some crap. Number 1. A guy with a black Lincoln car covered the seats in beads and glued fake insects all over the dashboard and the outside of the car. Creepy hot dog, man. 2. I saw tons of dogs, so that wasn't weird, but one car in particular built a ramp for a chihuahua from the backseat window to the front dash, so it could see out whatever window it wanted, I guess. I was always afraid it would fall out when he pulled away. 3. A guy in a trench coat completely bare, just wanted to f*** you and drive away when you got to the car. 4. I had a guy, creepy hot dog man 2, place an order then proceed to pretend to fall asleep so when you brought his order back you had to wake him up. That was just annoying. I'll think of more, these were just some of our regulars. Story 10. I worked at a McDonald's. We had a pretty semi-regular customer come through the drive-thru maybe once a week. They both had these big like $200 box mod vapes and they drive with the windows up until they got to my window, causing a large plume of smoke to come billowing out into my face every time. Whatever. One time they came through inside of the car completely opaque with vape smoke. They rolled down the back passenger window and there was a child, he was maybe like 9 years old, in a full tuxedo with his hair combed back nicely squinting through the smoke. He handed me $20 out of his own child sized wallet and took what I'm assuming was just his food. They rolled the window back up and continued just boxing the crap out of their beat up 90s Corolla. That was about 2 years ago and it still just confuses the crap out of me. Probably definitely not the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but it's the first one that came to mind. Story 11. I have quite a few, but my favorite had to be when a woman pulled up and over the intercom I could hear something, couldn't figure it out. She pulls up, rolls down her window, and baby chicks. Approximately four flats, I don't know the right word, boxes, flats, whatever, of loudly peeping baby chickens. Just as fuzzy, yellow, and adorable as a stock photo or a children's book. Of course, all four of the baristas immediately came over and got to hold and pet a baby chick. And yes, we did all immediately scrub ourselves after touching any food, drink, or equipment. Also, I worked at Wendy's from 2016 to 2017. One time, a middle-aged man drove through with a 2002 or so Ford Explorer or Escape. He asks for a burger and some soft drink. I ask, anything else? He then proceeds to ask, want anything? Followed by some inaudible squawking. He asks for a vanilla frosty and pulled forward. As he nears, I notice his car is very scratched and torn up. 
I look in the back and see the parrots all perched up, squawking quietly. This man places the vanilla frosty in a cup holder, and all the parrots start fighting over it while the man drives away. My coworker Alana and I stood there dumbfounded for a minute. Story 12. Back in my fast food days, I was working drive through kind of late. Is 10.30 late? Perhaps I'm just old. Anyway, it's summer and this dude starts ordering a rather large amount of food. I don't think much of it until he pulls to the window and I only see two guys in the car. The moonroof and all the windows are down so I can plainly see into the car. It's like a Chevy Beretta or something like that. Anyway, the dude in the passenger seat proceeds to slit open a Swisher suite and pack it with some other substance as I'm passing the food out the window. A week later, we had a driver with a diabetic attack. We called the paramedics, my manager helped the person pull the car into a parking spot, and the paramedic asked us to grab a carton of milk and dump some sugar in it. I see him walk over to the van and pass the carton of milk in, only to see it come sailing out and hit him square in the face. Story 13. Obligatory, wasn't the drive through worker but saw this in a drive through lane. I was at McDonald's one day before my shift started at the hospital and after I went past the cashier window, I looked up and saw in my rearview mirror two dudes dressed in full, really professional looking clown costumes, makeup and all and they looked like they were having a bit of a verbal go at each other. Kind of weird but not crazy, right? Fast forward to being asked to go to the waiting bay while my order was finished and the clowns end up in the waiting bay right next to me. And at this point, I can now definitely tell they are having an argument because they're swearing their heads off, telling each other to go screw yourself and other obscenities, which puts me into fits of giggles bad enough. But then it got real and they started having a fight in the car at first. And then one got out and started punching the other one through the window. I've never been so weirded out and so entertained all at the same time. Story 14. I was working at a McDonald's on the corner of a busy street, meaning lots of business. I saw a lot of very weird things like a man handed me cash through the window with a huge yellow snake wrapped around his arm with the head on his hand. However, the weirdest time was when I was managing overnight at about 3 a.m. A truck came through and it sounded like multiple voices were ordering at the same time. But I shocked it up to our microphones being weird. The truck pulled forward into the drive through and when he came to my window, it was an older man, probably in his 30s, with two younger girls, probably around 18 or 19, all in white spa robes. They spoke to me in unison even when they asked for extra sauce. I thought I was hallucinating, but cameras told me they were indeed very real. One of the weirdest things I have ever seen and experienced, that's for sure. What did I just read? Story 15 not what I saw in the car, but the weirdest drive through interaction. I was about 16 working at a Taco Bell as my first summer job, and I went to take the next order in line. Dude had a low voice and ordered two medium pizzas. I inform him we're not one of the Taco Bell pizza guys, but tell him we do have Mexican pizzas. That spiked his interest, and he asked what they were. I had no clue what they were, told him they were just a pizza, but Mexican. Hell yeah, give me two. I go grab the order and get back to the window and Buddy is standing there without a car. I did this in drive throughs a lot when I didn't have a car for a joke too, so I get it. But on further inspection, he's bare, standing there, hunched over like he was driving the invisible boat mobile with his wallet in his hand and card ready. Got him out of there as fast as I could. He thanked me and proceeded to sprint off with his food in hand still pretending to be in a car. I think about him often and hope that he's okay and living his best life. I hope you enjoyed the crazy stories in this video and if you made it this far, I'm super sure you're also going to enjoy Fast Food Workers, What Should We Never Order? Story 3 will surprise you and teach you a lesson for life. I'll see you in that video and thank you for watching this one.